Hey everybody, it's Nick with Two Brothers Comics. Today we're going to be doing a video spotlighting some independent comic creators for Independence Day. Stay tuned. So what I decided to do is I went on our Twitter, at Two Brothers Comics, and I put out a tweet that basically said, hey, if you're an independent comic creator, send me an email with some information on your book. I'd like to put it in an upcoming video we're gonna do and uh, hopefully shed some light on some of the work you've been doing. We got an overwhelming response, so if you don't see your book here and you did reach out to us, just know we're gonna work on a part two at some point to this. Please know we got a much larger response than we thought we would and do not mean to offend anybody. Also, drop us a comment down below showing your favorite independent comic creator and some of your favorite independent comic books. First on the list is gonna be Jared Lujan. He's a friend of the channel. He is putting out Dryfoot through Mad Cave Studios. The artist on the book is gonna be Orlando Casido. Casido? Forgive me. With the colorist, Warnia Sahadiwa. And another front of the channel, the letterer Justin Birch. Now this book comes out September 9th through Mad Cave Studios. It's a story based in Miami in the 80s. It's kind of a coming of age tale. Uh, drugs, violence, very strong characters, very witty writing. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check it out. We had the privilege of reading it and I'll tell you, issue number one is a solid start to the series. I'm excited for it. I think you'll be too. Hey, thanks guys, Nick and Dustin, mostly Nick, uh, for letting me get in here and, and talk a little bit about, about indie and alternative comics. So um, that indie scene and the very alternative scene is actually something I like to just go and look for. Um, I'll, hashtag alternative comics or underground comics on uh, Instagram is somewhere I go and also even things like uh, Etsy which is more than uh, where your wife buys crocheted random BS there's also uh, a ton of comics on there one that um, I picked up recently and I'm about halfway through is called uh, not my small diary this is number 20 and it is the power of music issue and basically what this comes from is uh, Delaney Derry Green um, uh, has a, you know, a semi-famous -under underground book called um, My Small Diary, and then uh, sometime in the late 90s decided to do a Not My Small Diary, which is the same idea, but it's, it's other people coming and talking about it or making their own comics. Um, so the point of this is that there's some, uh, there's some subject that brings everything together, in this case music which is uh, another love of mine aside from comics. And different cartoonists from around the world, around the country, do like a sort of a very underground take of um, music and what it means to them and little, maybe little biographical stories. These stories aren't any more, you know, sometimes it looks like real prosy too. These stories aren't any more than uh, one to four pages long. And they do everything from the time someone met the Beatles to uh, the time someone realized uh, some underground band was great and they, they decided to like it or how it made them connect with another person. So this is something uh, very cool, very interesting. Uh, one of the many things you could find on, on Etsy or on Instagram and stuff like that. And uh, something I enjoy and a alternative comic that I, you know, doesn't get you know, it's not only our crumb out there, is, uh, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, there's still a lot of cartoonists working hard that uh, put their stuff out and is available for pretty cheap. This cost me, I think, six bucks. So anyway, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Dustin. And I'll see you guys later. Next on the list is going to be a new comic book called Discordia. It's a new horror comic from Dark Tidings Press, created by Christopher Jerome, the writer, and Patrick Burmayer, the artist. This is the team behind the successfully funded graphic novel, Tarnished, that was on Kickstarter last year. Now, right now you can read some of the free shorts on Webtoon and they're going to be combining those into an issue zero and eventually an issue number one that's gonna be hitting Kickstarter in August. And what I'm gonna do is in the description, I'm gonna leave the link to where you can find the Webtoon and some more information on the book as well as a short synopsis. Next is gonna be Starlight Comic. Right now it's a multi-series comic series being ran on Kickstarter. It's written by Travis Webb and Greg Smith and the art is done by Brett Weldell. I'm gonna drop a link below to their website to where you can go and get some additional information on that. Next is gonna be Stargazer, written by Anthony Cleveland. Now you're gonna know Anthony from his previous title with Mad Cave Studios, Show's End. Uh, we absolutely love that book and we had him on the channel recently to do an interview. And if you missed that, go check that out. 
but this book is going to be coming out September 2nd. The artist is Antonio Fuso, the colorist is Stefano Simeone, and of course the letterer Justin Byrne. Now we also had a chance to read this one back before pre-COVID, uh, before the publication date got pushed out. Another really killer series coming out from Mad Cave Studios. This is going to be definitely more of a space themed if you didn't notice by the Stargazer title. And he pulls from his personal experiences for this book. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Another book coming from Twitter. This one's Commander Rayo. The story and art's done by Fellhound, and the lettering's done by Letter Squids. On the final dawn of an exhausted war, a rogue commander sets out on a warpath to assassinate a tyrannical baron. Now, this dystopian one-shot is going to be coming to Kickstarter on 729. I'm going to leave some information down below, such as the synopsis and where you can go to check this one out. Now, another one, by the way, of Twitter is going to be Cash, the Sandbox Cow. Now, what's great about this one is this one's actually going to be free to all Twitter followers of his Twitter account. Now, issue number one is going to come out August 17th. Now, in the Sandbox, you don't hire a hero to get bloody. You hire the baddest man you can. Next on the list comes from Scout Comics and writer Andrew Clemson. Star Bastard. The artist is Jethro Morales, colorist is Teo Gonzalez, and the letter is HDE. Now what's really cool about this one is you can already go out and buy it from Scout Comics or you can pick up the trade on the website. It's set to come out in the next month. I'm going to put some links down below as to where you can find that. Now another one coming from Twitter is Jonathan Hedrick or Hedrick. Now he's done a couple of books and he has another one coming out through Scout Comics later in the year. First one is Freak Show Princess. It's a self-published book. Now, Freak Show Princess is about Jessica and her dog, Harley. They're waiting out of a zombie apocalypse in her boarded up home. Now that sounds pretty cool. As things get crazy outside, Jessica remembers the events that lead up to her current situation. So I'm gonna be checking out this issue. I'm gonna drop some information down below where you can find out about this creator. But that sounds pretty cool. His next book, Capable, was another self-published title. This one's about an average high school student who goes through some pretty bad things, bullying, he's in a wheelchair, but he picks up an ability to run super fast. And this is about him gaining that power and what he does with it. And what's really cool about this is it explores what happens when more people wake up capable. I'm digging it. Now, his book from Scout Comics is called The Recount. After the president is assassinated by a Secret Service agent live on television, a dedicated agent must protect the vice president from a nationwide conspiracy. So that sounds pretty cool. Again, it's written by Jonathan Hedrick. The artist is Gabriel Elias. Elias. Colors are done by Sunil Gagri. Gagri. And the letterer is done by Christian Dokolamansky. Dokolamansky. Christian Dokolamansky. Now I'm gonna hit on a couple more books from Mad Cave Studios. The first one's from Jay Sandlin. This book is Hellfighter Quinn. It's currently uh, being published through Mad Cave. I believe it's on issue three. Issue three will be coming out on July 22nd. You also know Jay Sandlin from Over the Ropes, another title for Mad Cave Studios. He's been a great friend to the channel, and we definitely wanted to shout out this book. It's been one of the best books to come out this year. So make sure you check out Hellfighter Quinn. The penciler and the inker is Adigan. The letterer is Justin Birch, and the colorist is Maria Santolola. Hope I didn't destroy that name. I do apologize. Now, to shout out the man himself, Mark London, one of my favorite books to come from Mad Cave Studios, if not probably top two. Honor and Curse and Wolvenheart. But Wolvenheart issue number seven just came out this past week on July 1st, and I absolutely love this book. So go check out Wolvenheart. The trade paperback comes out in a few months, and be on the lookout for the return of Battle Cats and some other big titles from Mad King. Now, next on the list is from Mythopia. They reached out to me on Twitter when I posted this, and I wanted to make sure they had a spot on the list. The first one is Skies of Fire. This one's about a diesel punk airship adventure that follows an ambitious airship captain. She assembles a crew and hunt down a pirate terrorizing her kingdom. If you read that or listen to that and that doesn't excite you, I don't know what does. Next one is going to be Glow, a post-apocalyptic techno fantasy set in a world where magic devastated the last. That sounds awesome. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go to find their website and make sure you go check this out. Now, another great book coming out of Mad Cave Studios, Savage Bastards. Savage Bastards. This one's written by David Galliano. If you haven't already, go check out the interview we did with him a few months back. Uh, and in fact, we've done an interview with most of the Mad Cave team. So if there's one of these books you're interested in, Go check out our Comic Creator Spotlight playlist and they'll likely be there. Now, Savage Bastards has been one of Dustin's favorites. You'll hear him talk about it in one of our Top Picks videos. Every time this book's come out, Dustin has raved about this book. It's fantastic and I definitely encourage you to check it out. Again, the writer is David Galliano. The artist is Carlos Angeli. 
and the letterer is Miguel Zapata. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And everybody who submitted their information to us, we really appreciate that. We really wanted to provide a platform uh, to independent comic creators. And that was kind of one of the things we wanted to do when we first started this channel. Uh, so thank you guys so much. If you do go check out one of these books, let them know that Two Brothers Comics sent you. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. That does help us out a lot. And then I'll also let you know when we do a part two to this series. Now, if you're in unboxing, reviews, uh, creator interviews, Definitely subscribe as well and turn on the notification bell because that's what this channel is about. As always, guys, collect your way.